Hey chatters, welcome back to our Obsidian walkthrough. Today we're going to be going over one of the most important aspects that really ties Obsidian together, which is the daily note. Sounds maybe mundane, really all it is is like a daily journal, but at the heart of it, again, when we think about the main idea behind Obsidian is it's geared towards helping you connect ideas in a thoughtful and deliberate way with minimal effort. And again, eventually we're going to be connecting this to a large language model to use as reference. And so you really want, if you're going to invest time anywhere in Obsidian, it should be in the daily note. This is good practice anyway, generally, right? Like you're taking notes on the things that are happening because human memory is not reliable. So you want to be keeping a record as much as you can, especially in this day and age when it's so much easier, when you can just record your voice or a meeting or just write a couple few notes. It, it really should be a, a daily habit and practice. So this is what I can't stress enough. Obsidian is only as good as what you put into it. And the best way to put stuff into it is just to have a garbled mess of daily notes. So before we get into that, I just want to remind everyone where we've been and where we're going. So the first is just generally a note. This uses Markdown. So, you know, we have headings, for example, that we can do where we use a hashtag heading. We have connecting backlinks, which uses these double brackets, uh, which you can then use to create the note. Uh, let's get into here. And this brings us to our second note and back to our first note and tags, which again are just like the hashtags you would use in social media, they're a way to just quickly mark and tag something in a particular category. These are all the elements that you're going to want to put into your daily note. So I just wanted to remind you what they are. And then second, I just want to go over once more the canvas that we went over in our last one. This is just a way to create mind maps or workflows or processes where you can actually backlink the notes that you're talking about. You can bring in PDFs and images and connect it all up. Okay, we're done with review. So let's get into the daily note. So to access the daily note, all you got to do is go over to this little button on the sidebar, which is open today's daily note. It's going to come up here with just the date that it is today. You can set all this up. We're going to get into settings in a minute. But the idea here, again, is that this is going to help you keep track of your notes day by day. And so you want to make sure that you're <laughs> in the right date. Okay, let's go into settings just to see what we can play around with in the daily note just to start. So I went to settings down here. We go to daily notes and we have a few options here. One is the date format. I prefer it this way, mostly because how it's going to end up getting organized, as you can see here, is by date and then uh, by year, by month, by date. This keeps things organized by year so that you're starting with the year, the month, the day. So when you get to the next year, if you have this all in just an unorganized string, it's still going to keep organized by year versus if you do 11, 29, 2024, you might get all the 11, 29s next to each other, no matter what year it is. So that means you're not changing anything. The thing I do highly recommend you do is this new file location. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit of a mess here because it's just going to keep adding to the main bucket of everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a folder, which you can do right here. And we'll just call it daily note. You can call it whatever you want. And then we're going to go back to settings. New file location. And what we're going to want to do, you see even, it even shows up here. It has daily note right here. Now, all this means is that whenever you start the new daily note, it's going to open up in whatever folder you set for it. Easy enough. Next is template location. Now, this is important. We're going to build our first template together. And the idea here is that likely what's going to go on with you is you're going to want the information structured in a way to make it easier for you to take these notes. So we're just going to call this the daily note template. And really want to organize this however makes the most sense for you. So for me, how I like to organize it is I'm working 50 bajillion jobs right now. 
So I like to do heading personal. This is where I keep anything related to just my personal life. And then I got job number one, <laughs> job number two, job number one bajillion. Uh, and then I have news. But you want to organize this any way that you see fit. So I see a lot of people, for example, doing just morning, afternoon, and type, evening. It doesn't really matter. This is where this choice and preference comes in. You're going to want to experiment with different things. That's totally cool. Just remember that like, you want to be changing the template, not your individual notes, at least if it's something that you want to keep and maintain moving forward. Okay, so now we have this mess of a template. <laughs> Yours will be much more organized, I believe that. Let's delete the daily note just so we can show how this is going to work now. So now we have our template. We're going to go back to settings and you remember it has this template file location. We'll click it and you'll see it has daily note template right here. You might have to search for it if you have tons of folders and stuff. And the last setting I'm just going to re recommend you click is this open daily note on startup. Again, this is the central place where you want to be pushing all your notes. Everything else can be a mess in, in these notes and it can still be organized in terms of how you search and use it just to create that more convenient strategy where you don't have to press a button when you open this up to create the daily note is actually, I think, going to help you fill it out more. Okay, so let's go back to open today's daily note. I deleted it, so now we can bring it back up. And you're going to see I clicked it. It created the note in here in our daily note folder. It now has the date, and it just copied this mess of a, <laughs> this mess of a template. Okay. So now we have our daily note. This is pretty much <laughs> all you got to do, but now it becomes the habit of actually using this. So you want to be filling this out every single day. You want to be pushing everything you're reading, doing all your to-do lists, everything through this single daily note. Just think of it as journaling. You're just taking all your notes in one place. You're putting your thoughts. Maybe you're putting links to certain media you like, whatever it might be, images, anything that you want to put it here. And you want to remember, again, I'm going to bring you back to the backlinks and the uh, tags. So for backlinks, you want to think about it in terms of what is everything that I'm doing that essentially deserves its own Wikipedia article on it. And if you find yourself writing things and you're like, oh, I'm interested in large language models. That probably deserves its own wiki article, right? There's a lot to do with large language models. So what you're going to want to do is just encase it in those backlinks. And so there's no article yet. So that's why it's this darker purple as a reminder. But when we click it, it's going to open up a new note. And then we can take all of our general sort of research notes, whatever, on large language models in this place. And that way, every time in your daily note, when you want to mention large language models, you can put the backlink there. And again, what that's going to do is to help you continue to connect your ideas. And what you want to start seeing is that your daily notes are starting to connect with other things in your database. And this also gives you a really nice time series of the development of your thoughts over time, what you're reading, when you read it. It just really keeps it all organized without you actually having to organize it. I, I don't think there needs to be too much finagling Obviously, you can add images in here by just clicking and dragging images. You can add links by just copy pasting links, or you can use Markdown. The, the Markdown for links is either you, you can write you know, LLMs and you can highlight and do control K just like you would on any other computer. And then you put www.llm.com and then this will become a hyperlink. Or you can do it the way you're actually supposed to type it out, which is the brackets around the word and the link in here. And then similarly, you can just click and drag images. So let's go find an image here. And we're just going to click and drag this right into the notes. And there you go. Now, the only other thing I'm going to mention here before we close up is there is a phone app. We're going to go into syncing and commercialization in the future. But 
you can have this sync to the same app on your phone. Now, just thinking about your workflow, I'm going to bet that you do the majority of reading and watching content probably on your phone. So you want to start capturing those things in this daily note. And you can do that by simply on your phone going to that little like box arrow up button. You open that up, you go to Obsidian, you can navigate from Obsidian in there, go to your daily note for that day and just plop that link in there. This is going to be good practice for you to start hoarding things, but in a way that you can actually use and they don't just gather digital dust. My call to action for you is for this next week, whenever you're listening to this, take a daily note every single day. Hopefully you've already been doing this. You might even be able, you might have skipped ahead and started doing this already. But what I want you to do is every day this week, even if it's two words, I don't care, start taking daily notes. Start putting those articles you're reading in your daily note. Organize some sort of template for your daily note. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good enough for you to get started. You can always make changes as you're going along. So thank you for listening. I really hope this was helpful to you. Get towards those daily notes, and I'm excited uh, for you to get on this next step of learning Obsidian and building your second brain. Thanks, chatters.